What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Coach Tyler, former D1 athlete, and now I'm looking to help other athletes. When I had started my D1 journey and I wanted to make it pro, I was looking for resources and couldn't really find anything. I found a page on YouTube and it was an NFL pro named Mark Parsons, and he was just breaking down videos and helping anybody that didn't have a lot of money like succeed. So I want to give that back. And that's why I'm starting this new series where we're breaking down technique videos and stuff to football athletes. Uh, I was a former DB, so I'm going to break it down in the DB stance, but I also used to be a receiver as well. So I could break down a little bit of both for you guys. Um, today's videos we have, uh, we're going to go over a few clips from uh, the Reese's Senior Bowl, uh, they did their one-on-ones a couple days ago. Uh, this is part one. We're going to check these out and let me know uh, who you guys want your team to take in the draft. Uh, I'm a Chargers fan, so I'm glad we got Jim Harbaugh now. I don't even know who I want in the draft. I've been hearing people say they want like an offensive lineman or something to protect Herbert. I want to see what Jim Harbaugh does, but I wouldn't be mad at Brock Bowers. I don't know if he'll be on the board, but Kool-Aid McKinstry. We're gonna go over these clips real quick. We're gonna have some fun, all right? First one we're gonna go over right here, all right? So we're gonna, I don't even know who these guys are right now. I think their names are gonna pop up in a second. We got Luke McCaffrey versus Max Melton. I don't know if that's um, Christian McCaffrey's brother. I don't know. But anyways, uh, we're gonna look at this DB. We're just gonna play it all the way through first. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's go back. All right. So first of all, this DB is using the motor technique. So that's a technique where basically you inch yourself back, staying squared. So that way it kind of puts that receiver in a bind because the receiver is going to have to keep on moving forward and try to shake you and shake you out of your leverage. As you can see, this DB right here, um, Melton, He's taking that inside leverage because of where that receiver is lined up at. The receiver is lined up at the top of the numbers. So he's just thinking, I'm just going to be inside shade anyways and let the sideline be my play as well. And so as he does that, you see, you see him inch back, inch back. Boom. Nice jab. Jab and run with him. Cool. He's trying to take that cutoff angle. He nearly gets stacked. I mean, see, also with Melton, I would like to see a little more of a punch at this point here because did he really, like, stop the receiver from doing anything? Like, receiver comes up, ooh, 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 gives that move, goes outside. He gives his little touch, and it's not even really anything to mess with the receiver because the receiver went wide. And as you can see, the receiver started to, like, stack a little bit. Maybe bad ball, maybe bad ball too. Um, I don't know how that ball is going to be in the NFL, but overall, I like this technique. Boom, I just want a little more right there. You got to hit him with a jab or something. It has to impede that route just a little bit. Um, but hey, he took a great cutoff angle. Um, hmm. You want to see him turn and look for that ball at that moment, but... Hey, it's one-on-ones. It's the senior bowl. I get it. I get it. It's a lot. Sometimes you're just like, ah, I just need to make sure he doesn't catch it. There's scouts out here. So I feel that. Overall, good rep. Good rep by Max. Uh, Luke McCaffrey, pretty solid rep too. So all right, we're going to go to the next clip. All right, next clip we got right here. Let's see what's going on. I don't know who these guys are. Uh, we got the Tar Heels, and I want to say that's maybe Oregon. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about this. All right. I personally, personally, I love this, like, rep. It's physical. As you can see, this DB here took a 
kind of like a kick step. He inched himself back first, and then he takes a kick step to his jab. Boom. Hit him. And he stayed square. He's in front of him. Nice, right? All he needs to do is take one more shuffle step, and he's good. But instead of staying squared, he's open now, like ready to run. This dude hasn't even gone five yards. He hasn't even gone a yard yet. This receiver has not gone a yard yet. He is boom, boom, ready. Receiver went two, three steps. He jammed him hard before, and now he's already ready to run, right? Granted, they are on the, what, 30-yard line, so I guess, I guess, going in. But it just ends up being a slant. Receiver, come on, boom, boom. Hit him with the two, tries to go outside. DB jabs, because his, his leverage is inside anyways. DB, kick step, ooh, jab, got him, in front of him. Impeded this route, right? And then he opened up too quickly. I'll say, I'll say he opened up too quickly. I think he thought it was going to be a go route. So he's way over the top of it. And you see he's fully turned to this receiver. Like, he's not even squared anymore. So now for him to be able to even go that other way, he either has to do that speed turn there. And this is due from Oregon, actually. Yeah, I said Oregon. Let's go. Um, yeah, so he's either going to have to speed turn or open his hips up at that point. But you don't even want to get yourself to this point. These are high-level athletes. When you get to the NFL, it's going to be the same way. So boom, boom, jab. He comes through. Catch it. Almost drops it. But he catches it. And then bro gives him a bump. So that's what, that's what lets you know that this uh, DB, oh, he dropped it. <laughs> the wide receiver dropped it. Okay, but that's how you know uh, this DB, Kyrie Jackson, is physical, right? He's a physical DB because he hit him at the beginning of the route. He hit him at the end of the route. <laughs> and that's just, that's just beautiful. I love that. I love that. All I'll say about this rep don't open yourself up to ah uh, let's watch it full one more time hit him jab boom ah uh, ah uh. see watching it in full time it's like he wasn't like he was just playing way too over the top of it and like he didn't snap his head around fast enough like you gotta snap your head Ooh, ooh, you gotta get there because your, your legs and everything go where your head goes. As you saw, his head was still turned over. His head was turned to the sideline. He wasn't even looking at the dude anymore. Boom. Head, head there. Dude's already going. Already going. Boom. Boom. He's already made his cut. And he's, his head isn't even turned that way yet. But he's doing a speed turn. So then that makes his turn wide. Because he turns so late, too. So now he has a wide speed turn. Dude drops the pass, probably because of all the physical action up there at the beginning. But good rep, Kyrie Jackson. Uh, that speed turn, got to turn that head faster. Because you'll get there. That's easy work. You're on top of that. You're breaking that up. This dude dropped it. You're, that's a PBU if you turn your head faster. You just have to have that little bit of urgency. I didn't even know he dropped it, bro. Come on, Tez. Come on, Tez. All right, and the last one we're going to go over today. Ooh, shit. Shit. <laughs> it's funny, though, because his name was Shit. <laughs> Chair. Chase Smith Wade. So it's Malachi. Malachi Corley versus uh, Chai Smith. All right. So this receiver, uh, they're inside the numbers. So I'm thinking this dude's like a slot. Or something. I don't know. But let me. I'm trying to see. If bro. I think. I want to say this DB is either head up. Or was slightly outside. Leverage. And if it was so. This is either like a safety walking down. Or like a nickel. Right. So dude hits a boom boom. Actually I do think. That dude was like slightly outside leverage, like very, very slightly outside. Because as you can see, that receiver, 
Corley, boom, boom, is attacking that leverage and then <laughs> presses the DB and says like, oh, yeah, let me get that. So at that moment, you got to bring it to this receiver. Like he's probably like 6'4", hella big. Like that receiver, you have to hit him first, impede his stuff first, because he's already coming off the ball. Like, all right, all right. He knew he was going to do that and push you off. And that's allowed. You can do that. A receiver can do that. You have to bring it to the receiver. Be physical with the receiver that wants to be physical with you. As you can see, dude was not ready for that. He, who, who, anchored, anchored, <laughs> almost could have fell. And then he has to play catch up. So be physical with that receiver. Hit him right here before he hits you. He's taking a step into your leverage. Jab him and stay squared. Jab him and stay squared. And then you're on top of that. Look at him. He's looking at you like, dummy. <laughs> no disrespect to these players either. I'm just being, um, I'm just trying to coach it up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just kind of what I would do in the situation uh, from playing. But yeah, you got to jab him now. Because if you jab him now, and you guys either get locked up or something, like, at least you brought the punch to him. Like, I promise you, if you jab him first and he doesn't get to take this punch there, you're not going to be knocked off and off balance like that. Because this dude's surprised that he did that. Like, very, very surprised. <laughs> but, like, you also are... It's so hard playing the nickel position, especially from... <laughs> from up up top like that playing literally on the line like that's tough that's tough and there's so much field like in a real game in a real game i mean i guess i don't want to say that it's not a real game it's one on ones but in a real game you're going to have people in there some linebackers are right there so that's about where a linebacker would be at, <laughs> right where bro caught it. But also, you wouldn't be playing that head up or that close to the line as a nickel. You'd probably be at five and play catch technique or walk down or something. Whatever you'd want to do, honestly. But we'll watch it through one more time. Uh, boom. Move. Knocked him off. All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. Uh, it was fun going through those. If you guys want to train with me, I am located in Glendale, California. So if you guys do want to train, comment down below. You can hit me up on Instagram. The Instagram link is going to be right there. And hey, guys, just get 1% better today. And that's all we're striving for, all right? Always moving forward. All right, peace.